every man is born with a dream. The dream bears forth the desperation to conquer, to succeed. That becomes the unstoppable force in his life to rule his fate, his destiny, his future. And no matter how fierce, dangerous and formidable the adventures, or how distant and harmful the journey, he wouldn't be afraid to dare. I died my journey today, a journey for my future, my fame, my glory, my dream, my name. I am Okemiri, son of Abogidi, the king of Fundiago, and here my story begins. Okay, Miri, son of Abogi. Why have you come before the great Okuku? Glory of a king and the pride of mortality have I given up to seek your face. Yeah, I brought you the sacrifice from my humble heart. Okay, Miri, son of Abogi. Your gift is favored. What do you seek of me? I'm glad you know me. Even before you were born, this was your destiny, son. Speak to me. I am king of India. I know you more than you know yourself. Great book. My kingship is straight. an overwhelming stage of hatred from everyone around me. My subject, members of my royal cabinet. My kingdom is wrapped in the claws of these enemies, threatening to tear my heart apart, fighting to destroy me. Do insecurity and uncertainty about the future goals for me. I live each day the fear of me. I breathe the end of life. I sleep each night with no rest. I have eyes but all I could see is darkness. How do I restore the pride, honor, and dignity of a great king? How do I retrieve my kingdom from these enemies? Tell me, how do I become the greatest of the kings? And my song of victory, fame, and riches is found in across the six boundaries of Ndiago. How do I become the envy of all the kings that at the mention of my name, every soul trembles? The heart of pride pays the price. Okay, man. The price. Your wishes are many, but the solution to your problem is very little. Love and affection towards your people and your enemies. This is the price you came in. Return and amend your evil ways. I traveled this far to seek your help. Because I was told how you heard my late father Abogidi, even his ancestors before him, do not trade war with a man in desperate need of power. Great power! I concede 
you are truly an ambitious young king. Are you sure you can pay the price for what you seek? Name the price. The blood of a young virgin girl must be sacrificed to me. She must be from your kingdom. This ritual must be observed annually. Blood of a virgin? From my own people? And is it not wickedness of a king to shed blood of his own? You are not as desperate and strong hearted as you sound. You may leave for whatever Okuku wants. Okuku gets. Agreed. I will do as well. I remember we came from the far away in Godo Kingdom. And we've had no deal with anyone in this village except you, Your Highness. Brave, I shall multiply your reward as we progress. Eh? Now, not to be at your service, Your Highness. You can always count on us. You may now leave. Eh? But remember, let's be careful. further my fancy. Do you realize we've approached the evil forest? Have you forgotten how scary the stories about the forest are? Oh, Ola, don't tell me you believe those false stories. They are mites and lula bees for toddlers and not big girls like us. Hmm? Come on girls, let's go. Yes, my fancy. Mm. But my fancy is there are a lot of exciting locations for a walk. Not this cause for us, my princess. Well, there's certainly none in the palace. Because I've seen all there is to see in the palace. And have you heard of the fascinating fountain? What? Deep inside the forest. If you can just see that, then we'll return to the palace. Come on, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I'm 
get your clothes, sleep by my sword. Out! For the very last time, let her go. Then, prepare to die, Hunter. For saving my life. My name is Princess Adese from Punjago Kingdom. And uh, this, these are my maidens, Olama and Adora. Yes. Thank you. So, what could a princess and her maidens be doing out here in this very dangerous forest? Well, we only took a stroll. A stroll? It's quite a long way from home. Should leave this forest, it's dangerous. What's your name? My name is the king. So, where are you from? The forest is my home. The forest? I don't understand. Once again, you should leave here, it's dangerous. So that you can be rewarded for saving my life. Let your pretty hands on my precious daughter, my princess, the most adorable of all princesses. Whoever did has touched the tail of a tiger. Yes, and whoever touches the tail of a tiger has invented death. Oh, yes. Hmm. Ebu Bear, you have touched the tail of a tiger by sending your warriors to attack my daughter. Hey, your, your Majesty. Summon a young immediately. Let him assemble all the warriors of the land. We must invent Osara first thing tomorrow morning. Your Majesty, did you say tomorrow? Don't you think it's uh, too short a time to embark in a war? It's too did uh, I not conquer Mogwe? Oboko, Enuguagidi, Obeledu, Ichida, even Oraugu. To mention but a few. You did, Your Majesty. Osara is no match for us. Yes, I do not need preparations to invade Ozala, to wipe out every living soul from their land. A lion needs no caution to feed on a calf. Oh yes, tomorrow Ozala must feel my wrath. No living soul, man, woman and their children shall be spared. Their blood must flow on their land. Someone I love immediately. As Your Majesty pleases. <clears throat> Ma'am, are you sure you are doing the right thing, my lord? Stay away from this woman. What is for me? Not for women. I thank God you are saved. Um, next time, if you are visiting the forest, make sure you go with the guard. Uh, uh, and who is the young man you said that sent you? He deserves to be rewarded. I don't know. I only know his name. Ikenga. He didn't say where he is from? I wish he did. Oh, he must be a god in human form. <laughs> um, Alright, come on, let's go in. I have a story to tell you. About the forest. <sighs> <laughs> uh, yes, a whole lot of them. Come, come on, come on.
I remain loyal and faithful, all great people. I hear I brought your annual sacrifice. You seem not satisfied with my gift. What have I done? I have done so much for you, okay, Miri. Your desire to become the greatest king that ever lived, I have granted you. I have seen you through many victories in many battles that other kings tremble at the mention of your name. Have I not blessed you in mercy? To whom much is given, much is expected. There is no doubt you've been very faithful to me. And I am nothing without you. Ask anything, even if it is five veggies, I shall give it to thee. I do not want five heads, okay, Miri. But one special one. That is worth more than every other. I want the head of your own daughter, the princess. She must be sacrificed to me. My princess, she's the most precious thing I ever own in life. No. And the most precious sacrifice to me too. She must be sacrificed. No man can disappoint a god. Whatever a god wants, he gets. I am waiting for you to bring her to me within two days. If you fail, I shall not only take her by myself, but I will make you and your kingdom feel my wrath for your disobedience. I see that the gods have favored you today, my son. Yes, the gods favored me, mother. Though it's not so big, but uh, let us manage this one. You use it to prepare special onomu soup for me. Eh? That's a big one. <laughs> of course, I'll prepare your onomu soup. Knowing that is your favorite. Ah. Thank you, mother. Aha! That reminds me, the other day in the forest, I saw some Ozala guards trying to abduct the princess of Ndiago and her maidens. Really? What happened? Don't you trust me, but I scared them away. And then I saved the princess and her maidens. Ah, 
That was a brave one, my son. But I don't like you getting yourself in dangerous situations like that. Eh? Please stay out of trouble, especially when it has to do with Indiago. You go. Um, mother, why do you always speak of Indiago in such manner? Why? Nothing that you need to know now. When the time comes, you will understand. When the time comes? Hasn't the time also come for me to know who my father is? Where I come from? Ikengamu, must we go through this at any given situation? Yes, eh? Yes, we must and we will, mother. As long as you keep me in the dark, we will. Okay, my son. I understand how you feel. Don't worry. When the time comes, I will tell you everything you need to know. But remember, some things are better left the way they are. Expecting you for long. What kept you from visiting an old friend? An old friend and a god. Well, as you know, I have been hunted. Your strength grows by the day. But I also know that my strength will be nothing compared to the strength of a god. Physical strength is for mortals. The gods deal in supernatural ways. Exactly my point, Kuritokoko. Exactly what I am saying. I wish to be strong. I wish to be powerful, to have strength, to do great things like gods, like you. You might not possess the ability to shoulder the power of the gods, but for sure, you have an unfulfilled destiny with the gods. Oh. Unfulfilled destiny. What destiny? Ikenga, you do not know who you are. I know who I am. I am Ikenga, the great Ikenga, the one and only Ikenga. Son of a helpless hero. A man who has no knowledge of his origin. A man who does not know his father. A man whose life is clouded with so much darkness and uncertainty. Wisdom of mortals end, that of the gods begin. Ikenga, a great secret, a great destiny are what your life revolves around, but only in time will you know. Okay, my son, I understand how you feel. Don't worry, when the time comes, I will tell you everything you need to know. But remember, some things are better left the way they are. I went Okay, sir. 
And you pack those decks there. Um, <clears throat> hello, Your Majesty. Why I summoned you? You see, you see, and happy. It is for us to deliberate on our forthcoming New Year festival. You no, know, it is a very great occasion. That I want everyone to feel the pulse this time around. But because we are not fully represented here, we we'll have to defer it to our next sitting. Um, so that we will plan and make it very, very colorful. <laughs> <laughs> When I was only a child, that the sky was darken and the heaven was stone, and then the great Okokoti dragon will emerge in great anger. Okoko. What, 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 what does that mean? What, what, what is going on? The great dragon has been made angry. Hmm. This has only happened a few times in the long history of mortals. When the great dragon is made angry, he will leave his shrine and feast on blood. And it must not stop until it gets enough. Hmm. Woe to whoever that has provoked the wrath of great Ukuku. For doom has he brought to himself and to his family. If that is so, mother, I have to stop him before he kills me. <laughs> this is the battle for God, not for man. No mortal can stop it. Not even you, my son. I remember, like I always told you, that some things are better left the way they're destined to be. You know, come. Hey!
Your Majesty. My fellow elders. No, no, no. It has been so many years ago since the last attack of Okuku the dragon on Ndango, our land. None of us here even witnessed the doom till today. It was like a fairy tale from our ancestors. The question is this. What provoked Okuku the dragon to unleash his wrath on us the very day we were planning how to celebrate our New Year festival? You have the point there, oh no. Thank you. Because we all know that uh, Okuku the dragon does not act wickedly except when provoked. Of course. Uh, um, Your Majesty, Ndichi, I suggest we visit Otropa, the chief priest, so that he can help us unravel this mystery. You have a point. Though. I support him, Igwe. Yes. I support him. Ndichi, <clears throat> Igwe. I have heard all you said. Hmm. I have equally listened to your various opinions concerning this unfortunate incident. Mm. I don't think it is better or wise to look for any years and more to help us in this regard. Oh yes. Oku has already attacked my people. Even killed one of my maiden. Is it not better we find a way of dealing with Okuku rather than sitting here waiting for fruitless answers from any more? Uh, your, your Majesty, our people say that no matter how tall the Iroko tree is, its history is not complete without giving credit to that tiny seed it germinated from. We cannot just wait battle on uh, Okuku blindly. Without first finding out the reason why it unleashed his wrath on us. Yes, because Okuku the deity has always been faithful to us. I disagree with you, Isimu. Words are meant for weakness. Action is for a man. I, Okemili, has never been a weakling. Okuku has taught the tale of a tiger. And that means war. And henceforth, Okuku remains an enemy to this kingdom. We must find a way to fight it rather than sitting here waiting for fruitless answers from SMO or Turma. I have spoken. Understand the matter. Left your resting place with so much anger, wrath in your eyes. Would you mind sharing with me? Ah, aren't you too young for such curiosity? I'm old enough to seek knowledge, Rito. Maybe, but not old enough to comprehend the riddles of a god. I think so. We can try. The ambition of mortals gives birth to such responsibility, often too heavy for them to shoulder. I do not understand. Meaning? I told you, young friend, some things are not meant for you to understand. Until time unfolds, curiosity can kill. Shall we talk about other things? Tell me about your hunting adventures. <laughs> Show a good way to discharge a friend's curiosity. Did you, did you kill anyone today? I can see your curiosity is growing by each breath. Perhaps it's time to retire to my resting place. No, 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 please. I beg you, do not go. Okay, I promise you, 
No more questions for me. Right? Please don't go. You know how lonely it could be around here without you or my mother. Brave Ikenga. You always have a way of making me do your wish. I will stay. And as for your questions, <laughs> the transgression of one man can cause a thousand deaths. Wisdom, Brave Ikenga. Are you sure this is going to work, Umweri? Because my life and that of my people are in great danger. <laughs> no more harm shall come to you, nor your people. For whosoever that comes to Gwabale, he never forsake him. <laughs> Take that, sprinkle the black powder, brand the tree, and tie the rope. You have turned Okuku forever! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Go! You are protected. Greater calamity have you invoked upon yourself and the entire Ndiago. Your blood shall quench my thirst, and I shall take what is mine.
That's okay. Stop crying. for your warrior here with his team to join forces with my own warrior so we can fight our cuckoo, the dragon, with a united force from my own warriors and we are only legendary warriors. We can defeat the dragon. I cannot risk the life of my loyal warriors for a fight which is not ours. If you help me, I will live the rest of my life being indebted to you for this assistance. And anything you seek of me, I shall give it to you without hesitation. I like your back end, King of Kimberley. I will trade if your land between the boundary of Ndiago and the one near Igudo will all be mine. Ah, what else are we talking about? Right. We will come and help you kill the dragon. Yes. That's too yes. much. Is there nothing else to ask for? No, that's all I can do for you. That's all. Teach you how to use a gun. This is a rifle here. So the first thing you do is you get down. Take your aim. You target. You shoot. Come on, give it a try.
We've been talking and talking and talking since morning about this issue. I have even had we have different opinions. What we want now is solution. It is said that an elder does not sit at home and watch a pregnant goat delivers in his titters. We, the elders of Ndiago, can no longer sit down and fold our arms and see this situation degenerate. Our mothers, wives, sons and daughters are dying by the day. And the rot of Okuku eh, sees incessant. Something has to be done. Something has to be done anyway before we all are wiped out on the surface of this earth. It's in Something has to be done. To be done. Mm -hmm. And something is already being done. Already being done. What, Igwe? I believe you saw those warriors on their way in here. And you saw the mysterious Asha. They will kill you. Talk. Tia. Your Majesty, with due respect, I don't believe that those warriors we saw out there can defeat you. They are nowhere close to our solution. They are not. Your Majesty, with all due respect, all the bows, arrows, spears, nor the soldiers in the whole world cannot kill Okuku the dragon. Because Okuku the dragon is a god, and no man battles with the gods. There is only one way to stop Okuku, and that is. Otrupa, of course, the SMO, he's the only one that can consult Okuku to know the reason for this wicked act on us. No way. Oh no. No one will consult Otrupa. Okuku has already drawn a battle line with my people. And the only way out is to return fire for fire. Of our people lost. There won't be any appeasement for you. Not for a murderer. Yes. What's happened to happen? I am going to kill Okuku. I have fought and conquered men, even spirit in the past. So I have all it takes to destroy Okuku. I will crush Okuku. I have spoken. Igwe. I don't want any more di uh, 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 discussion on this matter. Igwe, Oboko, can you pull over? Oboko, I pull over. One day, I shall be taking a flight on your back. <laughs> the secrets of the skies are not meant for mortals. Mm, you think so? Know this: this particular mortal will not mind today. I shall be going. To where? On a mission. What mission? The mission of a god. See you soon, my young friend.
My lord, I know how you've been feeling over the recent situation. But you cannot continue to torture yourself emotionally, psychologically, and physically. I suggest you listen to the advice of the elders to seek a solution from Oturukmodi is a moon. Is a mediator between men and gods. He can pacify it. And peace will be restored in our land. Ndiago. How dare you utter such rubbish before me? Did those miserable old men send you to convince me? Oh my king. No one sent me. I I only spoke my mind. And that your mind is not good enough to convince me to change my own mind. I am okay with it. The heavy realms that are bruised my table. No one objects to my opinion. Not even you. Those bunch of cowards who sit with me on the throne as members of my cabinet. I'm done, I'll have to retire. Just to stop him. So stop him. Let me pour it for you. Daddy, don't. So why don't take a call? Oh, why not? This is just 5% of it. And remember, you're a you princess of India. So you must just. So Dragon is here again. Sin was eagerly. Tell him to assemble his warriors. But first of all, take the princess to her chamber. Make sure she's secure. Dragon is coming. Be at our last. Hmm. That's the dragon. Attack! What a cause you brought on Diago. Mercy. 
Messi Pondiaco. Messi. Look, 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 Thank you for your mercy. Thank you. Thank you. My lord. You are still awake again? Are you still awake again tonight? Please. You surely need some rest. Can we go to bed? Please. Sleep. Sleep. Sleep for a king whose heart is troubled. And whose kingdom is on fire? Only the strong can face the future. I'm afraid. I'm afraid your strength is gradually littering like the vegetable. And it's not doing any good to your health. What have I done to Kuku? What have I done to Kuku to deserve this plague? Threatening me and my people. My lord, some questions are too heavy for a man's heart. Yes. I need no man's help. But Kuku is not just a man. Enough woman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please calm down. Can we go to bed now? You go. need some rest. Go, I'll join you later. Go? No. I'd rather remain here with you than to go in there and sleep without you occupying your space on the bed. Please. Thank you for being there for me. I'm sorry. I snared at you. Thank you. I'm only doing my job. That's okay. Don't go to bed now. Oh no, see me fasting tomorrow morning. We'll have a meeting with the local government chairman. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Your Majesty, I had a concern to see you. Onye uh, Edeka, uh, let him come. Onye Edekachi, the young man who knows the secret of the white man. Welcome. Uh, sit down, sit down. Yeah, thank you very much, Your Majesty. How is my son, Ikenna? He's doing marvelous the world, Your Majesty. As a matter of fact, he's one of the best infantry soldiers in the U.S. Marine. <laughs> Quite impressive. He took after me, his father. <laughs> he actually promised to return in a month's time. No, 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 no. Uh, he will not come home. Uh, you see, uh, actually, I have been longing to have him home, at least to get himself acquainted with the culture and ways of our people as the air apprentice. 
but from the way things has turned out to be, uh, I, I wouldn't have him come home for now. When you want him to come? Yeah, you know, reasons for us. Um, a lot has changed in Diago. And I'm sure your father has not told you. Um, as it stands now, my hands are full. I am battling to save the life of his younger sister, the princess, and his mother from the danger within. But I can't seem to understand. What danger are you talking about? Uh, you've just returned. Go in. They will serve you food. You eat and rest. We have all day to talk about this. As your majesty desire. Thank you very much. Let me go in. You people are the greatest oracle priest of our time. <laughs> and that's why I sent for you from your various kingdoms <laughs> to come and join force with me so we can defeat Okuku, the dragon. <laughs> I mean, if you help me destroy Okuku, I shall reward you beyond your imaginations. Your Majesty, you have spoken your mind. But I wish to remind you that Okuku is a deity. No man fights the gods and lives to see the next sunshine. Not even an ordinary mortal like me that is just a servant of the gods. Akrika. Yes, Your Majesty. Are you saying you will not help me? If that is what my words imply, that is what is meant to say. Onwamusu. Your Majesty, I cannot help. You people are a bunch of idiots. Parading yourselves as native doctor. No power, see In my palace.
Going for hunting. Yes. Go on, Mother, it's happening again. Yes. His wrath is burning. And this time more fiercely. I must stop you this time. No, I must stop you. Please. You are only a mother. Leave the affairs of the gods for the gods who want to go. No. Mother, I say no. No. No, I'm my life. Because you can't go. You can't go. You can't go. I summoned you all to pick a date for my coronation ceremony. With due respect, my prince, the gods have chosen the heir to the throne. You cannot be crowned anymore. Yes. How dare you speak such blasphemy, old man? And by the way, who do you talk as to be the chosen one? He is the chosen one. What a conspiracy. Not at all. And who are you, old man? I am Otrufo, the chief priest of Unguku, of Ndiago, the eye and the mouthpiece of the gods. To hell with you, Otrufo. To hell with you and your gods. I know him. You are the jungle boy. <laughs> 